Hi! This is part 2 of my discussion about rodenticides. You can watch part 1 by clicking the i-card above or looking for the link in the description. If you've already seen that, then on to part 2. Colicalciferol rodenticides. Colicalciferol sounds familiar. Isn't that vitamin D3? Why yes. And this type of rodenticide causes vitamin D3 toxicosis. Although incidences of this is much lower than that of other types of rodenticides. But to put this in perspective, one microgram of colicalciferol is equivalent to 40 international units. Signs of toxicosis can occur in as little as 0.1 mg per kilogram or 4,000 international units per kilogram. Colicalciferol is converted into 25-hydroxycolicalciferol in the liver by 25-hydroxylase. 25-hydroxycolicalciferol is converted into the active metabolite 125-dihydroxycolicalciferol, or calcitriol, by 1-alpha reductase in the kidneys. The effect of calcitriol is as follows. 1. Increase calcium absorption in the GIT. 2. Increase bone resorption. And 3. Increase calcium absorption in the kidneys. The net result is increased serum calcium and also serum phosphorus levels. Clinical signs typically occur within 12 to 36 hours of ingestion. They start with nonspecific signs of vomiting, depression, and polyuria polydipsia. Laboratory findings show hyperphosphatemia, hypercalcemia, and metabolic acidosis. Soft tissue calcification may start in highly vascularized areas, such as the kidneys, lungs, and great blood vessels. Treatment The goal is to keep serum calcium levels less than 12.5 mg per deciliter and phosphorus levels at less than 7 mg per deciliter. So, decontamination ASAP. There is no specific antidote, but bisphosphonates can be used to limit bone resorption. An example of this is pamidronate. Diuresis can be done to expedite calcium excretion, but thiazide diuretics are contraindicated because they decrease calcium clearance. And symptomatic treatment for the non-specific clinical signs, like antiemetics for vomiting, and all that. And lastly, zinc phosphide rodenticides. This one's interesting, because the way this works is that when zinc phosphide is exposed to an acid, say the gastric acid in your stomach, it turns into phosphine gas. More food in the stomach means production of more gastric acid needed to digest the food. But in cases of zinc phosphide rodenticide poisoning, that's a long one. Anyway, it's bad because this increases the rate of phosphine gas production. Phosphine gas is corrosive and irritates the gastrointestinal tract very quickly leading to vomiting, often with blood, and abdominal distension, because gas expands. This is even worse in animals that are unable to vomit, of which mice and rats are included, but also horses. The gas can result in the production of free radicals by blocking cytochrome C, leading to cellular damage. When the gas is inhaled, pulmonary edema can ensue, as it is absorbed and spread to the rest of the body, one can have arrhythmias, liver failure, renal failure, tremors, seizures, and death may ensue. I use that word twice, but never mind. A word of warning, phosphine gas is a public health hazard. Exposure from the vomitus can risk the health of owners and veterinary staff. Its garlicky and fishy odor is characteristic. Be advised to use the necessary protective equipment and examine in a well-ventilated area to minimize risk. Treatment You know the drill. Decontaminate by inducing emesis and giving activated charcoal with cathartic. But give antacids before inducing emesis, so that they can increase the gastric pH and limit the production of phosphine gas, reducing exposure to the personnel involved. And acetylcysteine may be beneficial to reduce the damage from reactive oxygen species formed. And symptomatic treatment with gastroprotectants for the damaged GI mucosa and anticonvulsants for the seizures. To recap, these are the different types of rodenticides, with their different pathogenesis, clinical signs, and treatment. I'll leave the table in full resolution on my social media pages. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching!